<laughs> All right. Who's ready for 15 straight minutes of whining about stuff we've already whined about? I'm ready. Excellent. So uh, so I haven't watched Harley Quinn, but I really want to get into it. But then they had the coffin with the big butt on it, so now I don't know if I want to watch it. I have, I have no... Uh, None of that made any sense to you, did it? No. No. Uh, there's a there's an image that's going around that's from the latest season of the Harley Quinn show on, on Max. Yeah. And uh, I think people are blowing it out of proportion, but essentially... Uh, there was a joke that was, I guess, running for this whole season of uh, Nightwing having having booty, big old booty, uh, just cake. Because I guess for cake, the last cake, handful cake, cake. of years, he's been drawn in the in the comics with a bit more butt than you would expect. Okay, uh, and I assume that in the that in the latest season he dies because there's a coffin with a big butt sticking out of it, essentially not out of the sides, but like up, like they an engraved to make butt an on the extra outside indent of, the, of booty. Yes, yeah. It's like, ah, okay. Uh, and I guess some people are like, yeah, they took that a little far, which I have no context for it. I haven't watched the show. But it's just a thing that I had heard about. And it was like, perfect, perfect swerve to start the episode. Woo! Uh, but Here yeah, on the D-pad. Is, yeah, I'm Rick. <laughs> and I'm Peter. This is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I've got some sweet headphone earmuffs on. And I've got the wrong Pokemon for this out front. I really should change my dudes around. Yeah, I guess so. If anything, Delmar is actually... Oh, uh, no. You know what? Golbat tends to have bite-style moves, and those are often uh, dark-type dark, dark type stuff. Yeah. Uh, George Dude has Rock Blast. That's not a bad one to These to guys have with. level 37 actually, Pokemon. It might not be oh, unreasonable to have yeah. Roscoe having level-on-level level battles. No, that's a, that's a fair point. I honestly... It, I keep forgetting that we got so high-leveled against all of this stuff. Um... Don't poison, don't poison. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting that we're just so far above most dudes. Like the gym leaders in the Elite Four uh, and Cynthia, who is technically not part of the Elite Four. The Elite Four serves beneath the champion, but yeah. same org structure. Uh, yeah. You know, your your five battles at the Elite Four. Yeah. That's always been my favorite dumb thing, is that it's never been four. It's four and then one. It's like, oh, okay. They always grind you down and then see if you can also then face the champion. That's the real kicker. Yes. Yeah. Well, because, like... Well, that's why you get six Pokemon. Well, like, Elite Four is, like, I guess a common framing of stuff, like, in Japanese media in general. Like, Pokemon is maybe the most obvious global, like, internationally known iteration of it. But, like, a good example is uh, in Kill la Kill... The underlings of the of the who, the initial antagonist of the show are referred to repeatedly as her elite four. Okay, like it's just a common phrase for your top lieutenants. I guess it makes sense to have oh, four, I didn't switch my dudes. four lieutenants. It. You just ran into another battle. It's fine. Just gotta make sure to actually switch my dudes out, or just Pete Rose can keep uh, leeching experience away from whoever is actually getting the job done. I actually don't know. I guess we have number eight is Sunny Shore. Don't actually know what type that is. We'll Let's eventually see. get around to Sunny Shore. Yeah. I think you run into the gym leader before you do the gym battle, so you'll get a hint. I figure there's, yeah. I was going to say, it's like I figure it's not going to be too bad. We've got a pretty wide variety of ability to handle stuff at this point. I think our team is mostly well-balanced. Uh, I, I think there's a couple holes that we don't quite have filled, but I don't honestly... Think you, I don't think you're going to have to worry about Sunny Shore that much. I was going to say, our levels are high enough that... Oop. Okay, I thought I... Oh, no! Damn it! Oh. If you undo switch that far, then you don't switch. Yep. On the plus side, electric... But you can volt switch. I can volt switch. I was also going to say is, like, steel... Uh, uh, electricity resists steel, so, like... Not terribly worried about it. Oh, so close. If I Thunderbolted, that would have just done it. That's a shame. And now more Pokemon will get full XP. That's true. I think I'm just going to put Pippa out just because it's fucking funny. <laughs> Use a Steel move, be double resisted, and just like, hey, what's up? It's going to do three. Yeah, Heavy Slam. Oh, it didn't even, it's gonna didn't do even land. It's going to do nothing. Pippa cheated for you. Amazing. <laughs> what's that? Never mind. Does it have Levitate? It does not. I forgot to consider that. I think Bronzong might have Levitate. Bronzor also can have Levitate. This guy has the other He's got the move. other ability. Yep. The, it bug, in some ways, it really bothers me that so many Pokemon float. 
because just because a Pokemon visibly floats does not mean that it has flying type or levitate. Yeah. Like Magnemite, Magneton, and Magnezone all hover, and not a single one has levitate. They can use the move Magnet Rise, yeah, which has the same effect, but they do not inherently hover off the ground to pr- protect them from ground type, which is good because they're crazy weak to it. Yeah. Uh, but it's maddening that there's not a visible thing that goes, oh, it's hovering, so I can't use ground. Bronzor's other ability yep. is also shoring up a weakness. It's heat proof. Oh, nice. Pr- protects itself from fire. That makes sense. Interesting. And does that just nullify fire attacks? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I think. It, uh, I don't even have a Pokemon. It's not quite as good as like because there's some of them out there like, what dry skin means that a water move heals you instead of hurting you. Did the music change when I talked to him, or am I fucking insane? I think you're insane. I don't it, think. It I think we probably right when I talked to him, so I thought it was a trainer got battle. In, probably got into the B section of the song. Must have been. Because I was like, ooh, music, and he's like, I don't even have a Pokemon. And like, so what are we about to do then? A lot of these tracks actually have a like B section where the drums go way harder than yeah. they have any business going. There's some like I don't want to call it light jazz. It's jazzy. I don't really know what to what to describe as the genre though. Um that's oh, fight. I mean, upbeat jazz like that. Desecrating the halls of our HQ. Um uh, There's gotta be a name for like it's like it's not got it's the like swing spa of jazz. funk. It's yeah, it's not energy jazz or right? it's like day spa jazz. I don't really know what to describe it as, but it's got like a little bit of like a vacation vibe to it. I it, it, like a Google search of of varieties of jazz that might be considered upbeat brought up bebop, but I don't feel like it's giving bebop vibes really. Not really. I think it's tighter than bebop. Yeah, Bebop's a little squonkier and looser. Yeah. This is a little bit crisp and, uh, and light, I would say. It's like, it's it's like, like elevator a, Bebop, or... Yeah. <laughs> this is like the apple juice of, of jazz. Let's do left first. We get full-ass transitions each time, all right. Okay, that worked there. The right one here, is that going to bring you back to the other side? Are we doing the classic? Oh, no, never mind. I was like, are we doing the classic thing where you have to go through the same one twice? Okay. Let's fight you. I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander. Yeah. I'll impress our great boss by making you my newest trophy. I'm going to stuff you. I'm sure that you are. There's definitely a lot of openings for commander. Go Zubat! Actually sadder. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to feel a little guilty about embarrassing you this much, but at least no one's around to see it, so don't worry about it, man. Time to fry that worm until it pulls itself apart. All right. Oh, almost another level. Uh, Dust Ox. I guess we'll keep lucky out there. Yeah, I'm not worrying too much about levels at this point. Uh, when John and I when John and I fight, we're gonna have our stuff level up to fifty anyway. So it really at this point it comes down more to moves than anything. Yeah, you you want to think about your moves. You want to optimize your uh, your balance of your stats. Yep. Because those will get scaled back to the level based on your. Yes. Yeah. Essentially, uh, they, IV and EV numbers. Yeah, they're gonna use essentially. The, yeah, because the base stats are the same regardless of all the other things, and the IVs and EVs alter how much you get. You know, past that. Yeah. Um, let's do this. They can be definitively calculated out from those numbers mm-hmm. for any level of the Pokemon. Yep. So it's very easy for them to do those calculations. Boing. All right. Absolutely keeping the Choppleberry on Pippa just because it's very nice to just, like, give myself an immediate... Uh, immediate protection against getting like one shot with like close combat or something. For sure. Having, uh, especially if you're, that's a, a double weak, right? No, I'm only weak to one. Uh, so, do you have a double weakness on Pippa? Uh, no. Because the only stuff that's good against water would be grass, electric, 
Is that it? That might be it. Steel is fighting, fire, ground. Uh, I might be missing like one more type in there. And there's no overlap between those. And in fact, there are some mutual... Fighting, fighting ground and electric are your only actual weaknesses. Yeah. I was going to say fire gets nullified out. Actually, yeah. apparently Empoleon, as of 2021 and the smart text, is the only water steel Pokemon. Oh, there's no other water steel? Weird. I don't I know if they changed others. that for um, Scarlet and Violet. Huh. Oh, yeah, for, like, uh, uh, any of the future Paradox dudes or something. I'm trying to remember, what, what type is... Oh, is Delmize, like, Water Ghost? Stunky. My name is Stunky. Wait till you see what I can do with my teeth. It's a neat party trick. Uh, Everybody hates it. Gross. <laughs> Not yet it ain't. Stunky's always gross. Yeah. <laughs> Stunky's been gross from day one. Oh, shit. Got balls for face. Yep. Hey, Big old a, butt And sack. a butt that grows longer when Ugh. you get evolved. Because his tail opens goodness. up like a butthole. Yeah, that really bothers me. Skuntank's tail hole is one of the truly most disturbing things I've ever seen in Pokemon. That bothers me so much. Should huh. not do that. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world, space will become Team Galactics. I like that they got motivational posters on their walls. I smell an intruder. <laughs> yeah, well, I smell your boots. You haven't washed them. I can't take like them that? off. <laughs> yeah. The zipper fell off years ago. That's all I have now. I, I just I just wear this. I, I go swim in the lake every once in a while, but we blew them up. <laughs> and the the fabric is fused to my skin. I'm really screwed at this point, actually. I, I'm just full on a grunt forever. I can't. Grunt now, grunt forever. Grunt for life. Go Team Galactic. This bowl, bowl cut is my life. This is a cry for help. <laughs> this is actually a wig. I'm bald now. All my hair fell out because oh. of this rubber. Stunky. Now, the good thing about oh, did you not know this suit is full on rubber? Ugh, that explains the smell. The good news about team headquarters is that they usually, not always, but they usually have a bed somewhere in there fairly far in. Oh, yeah, yeah. When they make a big enough dungeon, they're like, you should have a rest point. Yeah. Or an escape rope where they're like, we're not going to give you one. It was just my Pokemon that stunk. Yes, you have smelly Pokemon. Well, so the, ironically, for a thing like this, there's no... Okay, I need the key for this one. Uh, there's no wild Pokemon, so like it really isn't that big of a deal if you grab a... If you if you dig or escape rope or whatever. No, it's just a, a great opportunity for levels, basically. Yeah. Yep. Haven't done this yet. We also haven't taken the right path out of the initial room, and we haven't tried backtracking these warp panels yet either, so we'll see how that goes as well. Ooh, a scientist. Do you have a special key? Are we going to fight you? It's like 50-50 on the scientists. Yep. Some of them are like wusses who are like, don't punch me. I'm just at a desk. And some of them are like, eh, it's not those kids. Check out this bottle of lye. <laughs> don't wash your hair with it. Don't yeah, let I'm, it touch your skin. I'm going to do two creepy things. First, I'm going to kiss you <laughs> They haven't fed the me. hand. They haven't fed me in five weeks. And second, I'm going to pour lie on you. <laughs> uh, welcome to Fight Club. Wait a minute. I've done it in the wrong order. Oh, shit. My lips. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, order is important. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it was, the, it was the moisture that was the problem, right? That was the whole thing. Lie on its own doesn't hurt until you activate it. Yeah. With other, it's basically like a powder normally, or pulverized stone essentially. But as soon as you activate it, you want that shit nowhere near you. If it's inert, then you can like get it off of you and like very carefully, you know, what do you have to douse yourself in vinegar or something? Um, yeah, it's highly, uh, highly alkaline, so you need something acidic to neutralize it. Oh, yeah. And vinegar is a safe one for your skin. Yeah. So you can. You know, flood it out with vinegar. I'm curious, would like would like various citrus things work? Like, would literally pouring orange juice? 
in a pinch, yeah. Yeah, you think? If you didn't have vinegar, you could use orange juice. Right. It's probably not as good at it since it's a lot... There's a lot more other stuff in there. Yeah. So, I mean, well, buff also buffer helps to some extent, Yeah. right? But, like, that initial application of water means that you have a super solution of a very basic thing and all of the ions get stripped out. Okay. So, for a while, adding more water just means you're, you're making you're more it. it's maximum like a strength... Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. just making more maximum strength solution. It's like a grease of, fire where there's a certain con of like pH fourteen. Well, like, or I guess a better chemical chemically burning your flesh. Yeah, it, it maybe less like a grease fire, more like an alcohol fire, where it's like okay, alcohol essentially alcohols above a hundred proof are considered flammable. Yes, it's a little bit lower than that, but generally a hundred will light up real easy. It, the before. The way that we calculate it now, that proof line was, oh, does was it light on fire? Yeah. Nowadays, it's literally just percentage alcohol times two. Yeah. Because they were just so close. It's like the, the speed of light calculations. You can right. do 300 million well, that, that, was, a, you know, that was the way that they figured out how much alcohol was in there. And they were like, this is close enough to 50%. Yeah. When, it, when you can light it on fire, we'll call that 100 proof. And then we'll dilute it out and calculate the proof out that way. Ooh, baby. Because things... One of the best poison moves... Sludge Bomb is beautiful. Sludge Bomb is pretty great. Who do you think? Na Pete Rose? Oh, Pete Rose. Maybe Natalie also. This is Natalie's special. Natalie's got a dense move set. It, she does. It's a question of... It's really going to come down to stats. Yeah. Because uh, I think she's got Cross Poison, which is also really good. That one's physical, right? Uh, cross Poison is physical, yeah. Uh, Pete Rose is much better with Special. I, toxic is nice. That's a, a third better? Yeah. Yeah. It's really going to... Uh, so it's 90, 100? Does it also have chance of poison? It does. Yeah. It's maybe the best poison move in the game. Um, there's, like, I guess Venoshock is better, but you're really... You're, you're, like, the limitations are a lot heavier at that point. Now, how much are you... Um, I mean, Grass Knot was basically for dealing with... Apep. Or not Apep. Um, yeah, uh, Gyarados and, and, uh, and, um, uh, Blastoise. Yeah. We're definitely, honestly, it's a good move to have going forward just because we're going to be seeing bigger and heavier Pokemon generally. I suppose, but like the Elite Four and the Champion and they're not, they're not like stacked with heavy Pokemon. They, this is true. They, they put the most thought into those team designs, I feel like. It, it's really coming down to out of these three. I think Dazzling Gleam is good enough for coverage, and we don't have Fairy anywhere else. Yeah. So that's just good to have. It is nice to have that in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which really makes this tough, because, like, it's we already a tough enough sell having Giga Drain and Grass Knot. Like, I want a, I would like a better Grass move to replace both of them, really, but... Yeah, I don't, a Giga Drain hits pretty hard, and... Yeah, it is still 75. Like, that's not that far behind this in terms of damage. And Pete Rose's ability, Natural Cure, is that status effects go away when you team when you bench him? Or is that I believe extra that is what healing that does. from... I believe Natural Cure is... Benching means the... the oh, god damn it. Uh, means that the, the status effects vanish upon benching. Oh, it's a held item. Yeah, that's the held item. I was item. like, whoa, what's happening? All status conditions heal when the Pokemon switches yeah, out. Yeah. Okay. So that's. It's too bad that there isn't a switch move for him. Actually, while we while we're here, I'm pretty sure Natalie's more physical than special. Oh yeah. Okay. Cross poison stays. We don't. We won't bother with Sludge Bomb then. Actually. Oh yeah. You're even reduced special attack with Natalie. So, so 70, 70 critical hits land more easily. Uh, yeah. Special attack is like two thirds. So even at ninety, it's still it's not going to hit as hard. The poison is, like, nice, but critical hits are nicer. Yeah. Extra crit is very nice. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's it's way better than a lot of people give it credit. I'm thinking... I'm drawing on other fields right now. Back in yeah. second edition Dungeons & Dragons, yeah. things had different crit ranges depending on the weapon. Oh, yeah. That was always fun when you got one that had uh, 18 to crit. Yeah, eighteen. It to, feels like a eighteen to twenty as your crit range was great, and then felt like a world of difference. Getting a get getting it magically enhanced to be a keen weapon doubled it, and then oh you got out to what 15, 16? Um, 
15. You would crit yeah. on a 15 to 20. Which means that you have a 1 in 4 chance. Actually, better than 1 in 4 chance of yeah. critting, which Almost is... Almost a 1 in 3 chance. Yeah. Like, just, just fucking slightly wild. worse than a, than a 1 third. Yeah. Uh, the odds of landing... If anything, the odds of... Because does critical damage still require a 19 or 20 at that point? Or do you get critical damage by re-rolling a 15 or higher? Or is that even gone at this point? Um. So, that, so this is... All of that is gone at this point in 5th edition. Okay. But Just a single back in 2nd edition, you did need to confirm the crit, which meant you did have to hit you had to, on you had your 2nd roll. You had to hit. Yeah, you had to hit. So you, the crit the crit meant you were in crit range, and then you had to roll again and hit. Yep. So, so like, if you roll a crit on a 15, but you need a 19 to hit, then the 2nd roll needed to be a 19. Mm. So that was still a different problem, gotcha. right? Gotcha. But you were, you were critically effective, but you missed. Which fucking sucks. I feel like if you're a DM, you got to give them a little something. Like it's not like okay, you landed, but it wasn't. It's like okay, you missed, but I think it, it can catch be a, their they catch their pauldron and snap off their shoulder armor. Or like whatever. a fantastically piece, a fantastic piece of narration would yeah. be a, a good thing to to give as a reward for that. The whole no. hit points thing is an abstraction of of damage coming in anyway. Yeah, because back in second edition, arrows that were a near miss would do one point of damage to you. Um, for a death by a thousand cuts kind of thing, if you're running through a hail of arrows, yeah. if like a whole squad of archers is attacking you, then you'd, you'd have to be extraordinarily lucky not to not to fall prey to that by you, just rolling you really start, well. You start over taking and over like again. chip damage. You start yeah. taking chip damage from there being a hundred arrows raining down on you. I think I, I feel like if someone if someone lands a crit uh, a critical roll but then misses the hit, you got it. Like something something good should still happen. It's not going to be as good, obviously, as landing the hit, but it's like. Some meaningful difference needs to occur from there that is not as good but still beneficial, right? Yeah. Whether it's glancing blow or you've knocked them, the, you've uh, staggered them so they're in a less defensible position from everybody else's attacks this round, or yeah, hey, you knock their shield off and that shield was becoming a problem. It's a magically enhanced shield that's absorbing the sorcerer's attacks. But that's why I think you should get rid of grass knot. You think so? <laughs> oh man! I, I and like know. I I really love the the Giga Drain heal yourself bit for staying power. Whoops! I just want uh, over the over the like scaled effectiveness because you don't know the weight of every Pokemon necessarily. It's true. Either. You Some can usually that are like big give it a guess, but weight, but yeah, I do have more copies of Grass Knot. I can put it back on. In exchange for Giga Drain or something, if I decide that I want to do that more. Yeah. Ironically, Giga Drain is also really good for trolling John by extending that battle out, too. Yeah. So the difference is... That's like playing on John's brain as opposed to John's Pokemon team. Yeah. Oh, Grass Knot is special? Did I? I don't know if I ever knew that. I don't know that it... I mean, it probably matters. I'm sure it does calculations based off of your your of your special attack. Yeah, yeah. But I never, I didn't realize that it was actually special attack. For some reason, I I parse that in my brain as physical. Well, it's probably a contact move, but a special attack move. Yeah. Right, because they've made that a distinction internally. That's fair. Yeah. <sighs> I guess Giga Train. I also put some uh, some PP up into as well at some point. Oh yeah. That's that is not a normal amount. No, uh, that would be two PP ups from a ten. Yeah, uh, I mean that's a good investment into Giga Drain because that you can because I think that was because then you could just outpace. There was a move that you could just then outpace because you yeah. could just keep absorbing. Oh boy! Okay, let's do it. We'll go for this. We'll see how it goes. Hey. Like, granted, it's not like losing to John matters per se. I would love. To make this a because uh, what I think I I think I'm currently up five to two. I'd love to bring it to seven to two because I think that's the score of our very first padlock oh. in the opposite direction. I would love to uh, return the favor. Okay, you want to get get a redemption in here? I would love. Yes, oh, there a we go. Full on redemption key. for the first one. Well, not to mention especially like question mark if we do any more padlocks in, in the traditional style. So it'd be nice to close if that were the case. Closing it out the way it started would be kind of nice. Yeah. I guess it is harder to. Um, huh, the modern right. game doesn't present itself to a a, a nuzlocke as easily. So no, it's, it's, it's really a lot the more games only at this point. Like pedantic to handle. Do you this have game only left? really works for it because it's so like retro styled. Right, because it's specifically styled to still be the Gen four four. 
4, yep. The Gen 4 game, but on the modern oh, engine. This looped us back around to the beginning on its own. Okay, cool. I was wondering about I was like, hey, wait a second. This looks familiar. It gave you a door that was a cut through. Yeah, yeah. it's literally... We did, we Elden uh, we uh, Elden Rings uh, Dark Souls did of getting a door that brought us back to the start because there were I think two doors that we needed to get through with the key. I feel like that happens in uh, Metroidvanias too, where you get your oh, return yeah. path. You definitely get you definitely get connecting paths. El like from soft games have a tendency to give it to you that warp that puts the end of the thing back to the beginning of the thing specifically. Yeah. Um, why don't we come back next time? I'm going to probably warp myself into the other, the bottom corner by going here, but we'll uh, keep looking around the, yeah, there we go, the headquarters. See ya. Bye.